Welcome to the English language highlights of a pulsating game between two undefeated Thai Premier League teams, so Pambri the hosts, Buriram United, the champions of Thai football, and the talk of the Asian Champions League after their two 2-1 victories in their first two games. For Sapambri FC, there were two changes to the lineup and a racking goal as ever. The back four stayed the same, Natapon, Marcio, Captain Pratt and Ponlawat. But there were two changes in midfield. Lee started, Daecha returned for Watan Sop and Supot, number 30, who was to have an excellent game, came in from Jetsida, who was to come on later in the piece. Up front, Andre, Jakapan and Carmelo. The stadium was rocking as Tiraton put the first corner across and there was a half chance there for number 14, Chitipat, that our goalkeeper Anorak was delighted to be able to smother. Carmelo had another excellent game even though he was playing with a slight injury. He was determined to show his former club that he is still a force to be reckoned with. And Andre, with that left-hand side channel that he loves to plough down, was a constant menace. Marcio attacked slightly less than normal, but he was to have an excellent header later on that very nearly brought us the goal. Then another corner came in from Tiratorn. Unfortunately, that's where the goal happened for Buri Ram. Marcio went up to collect it, couldn't quite get it. He unsighted Lee, and it was an easy tap-in for Diogo. Highly impressive player who did very well against Guangzhou RNF earlier last week. A half chance for Jacopan, but he's eased out of it by two defenders. Then he takes the corner, and Marcio powers the header in. But unfortunately, it's directly at Siwarak, that excellent goalkeeper for Buriram United. Then came the goal. Beautiful bit of work by left-hand side by Carmelo. Brings it inside to Jacopan. What a wonderful goal. Su Chow, one of the classiest players in Thailand, is left for dead. Tunes, one of the most powerful defenders in Thai football, is left for dead. And he comes to celebrate his love for body slam and kuntun in the hair and in the sign. Jacopan. Are you watching Zico? Jacopan is on fire. Very, very few players would have got that through. Look at the way he loses Su Chow and Suwaruk. Well, he might as well have just sat down and watched it on the TV. There was no chance of a save, whoever you are. It was 1-1, 44 minutes, the best time to score, as they often say, just before half-time, to plant the seed of doubt in the Buriram United players. Jacopan, you really are a star. But there were lots of chances, and in the beginning of the second half, Buriram would just turn the screw as they look for yet another victory in what has been an excellent campaign so far. They beat Taipur 2-0, and they drew with Mung Tong already this season, but last season they had a much worse start. And then there was a half chance just before half-time. Diogo blazed over the bar with his left foot, and I think he would, should have done better than that. But the Sapambri fans will be very glad he didn't. Carmelo put it across to Supon. And look at that for a ball to Andre. He drives in. A good shot. And very smartly saved by Suwara. But Supot is looking the absolute business. He's young. But he's very, very hungry. As ever, Jacoban fighting for possession down that left-hand side. He's a man born again. Daychar taking the ball inside. Getting it across to Carmelo. Who just can't quite control it in Tunez. And his fellow defenders get it away. But you look at the pressing style that we're developing now. Lee gets the ball back over to Supot, whose beautiful cross goes to Carmelo. And unfortunately, he can't get the power that he wanted, thanks to the attention of number 13, Nurabuddin, in the defence of Buriram. But Lee, again coming forward, looking at that interchange between the players. Lovely fast feet, lovely fast thought. And Carmelo gets the shot away. That just goes to the left-hand side of Sirawak's goal. But Natapon, as well, is a man with lots of questions to ask of the opposing attack. Very, very classy player. Very rare mistake by Marcio, it has to be said. Diogo is following him down. Marcio lets the ball go under his foot. But look at the way that Anorak is so decisive. He's improved his body strength, his control of the area is sensational and he's really developed this year and last year when he became more of a regular. So both sides now were thinking that the next goal would win. Tunez, he's a real man mountain, that man in defence. The only person who can control him, I think, is his wife I saw at the end of the game. But ball inside, lovely play by Marsena, nice control and again Anorak, so decisive, he clears out defender and attacker. Turaton with the corner, 
comes across, and again, Anorak punches it far out of the, the area. There's a half chance for Prakit, the, the new signing, and then Tiraton just over the bar with that wand-like left foot of his. Beautiful left foot. What a great player he is. Very good drive again, bump from Diogo. Gets it across to number 21, Prakit, whose deflected shot goes just over, and it seemed to be one or would be the end of the game. Both teams making sure they didn't make def uh, defensive errors. Natapon eased off the ball, probably thought that was a foul, but it comes across again with Diogo, who's going le left more and more during the game, and he gets a shot across, which Anorak watches well. But the balance was just starting to change, so Sergio Farias brought on Jetsada and... Sergio Van Dijk, SVD, the torpedo man who was to have such an important part to play later on. There were chances for Sapambri in that second third of the game, if you like. Again, coming across with Andre, this time on the right-hand side. Lovely fast feet. Good cross away there, but Carmelo just can't ease the defender out of the way. And Prakit gets it clear with good possession from Buri Ram. The tremendously well-organised team. Everyone knows their part. And it's incredible to think that last season they started after eight games with only nine points out of 24. A good clearing tackle by Marcio. Him and Pratt are a real good combination in the defence there for Supambri FC. But the pressure was starting to build on Supambri. Buriram felt like they had the wind in their sails. They were just pushing and looking for that second goal. And it felt like with Diogo and Messina up front, they were going to get their chance. And of course they did later on in the piece. But Sapambri still asked questions as well. Still looking there with, with Andre. Lovely feint. Beats the defender. But it's just over the bar. Boyram continued to probe. They didn't come for the draw. They came for the win as ever. To keep the pressure on at the top of the Thai Premier League. And to prepare for their next game against pointless Gamba Osaka in the Asian Champions League. Good possession, lovely patience by Tiraton. He doesn't need to pass straight away, so he gets it across to Diogo, who cuts inside, and there's Anorak to shovel it away gratefully, making sure that he kept his eye on the ball and it goes out for the throw-in. Our own throw-in by Natsaporn. Lovely turn there by Carmelo, and he just can't get enough bend on the shot, and it goes wide again. Half chances, you'd say, for both teams. Both teams making sure they didn't concede or make an error. But again, Boriram United looking at that left side as an area to exploit. Going down that left side, pushing it inside, and then came the goal. There appeared to be plenty of bodies there for Sapambri, but Massina, he's a classy player, he really is. He didn't need power, he just passed it into the goal in front of that massive away support from Boriram below our enormous scoreboard. And that appeared to be the away win. The Sapambri fans were roaring in waves, the, the players on to get that goal back, and it appeared that Natapong's shot that drifted over the bar would be the end of the piece. But shoulders didn't drop, and the players worked very hard, and no more so than Sergio van Dijk. He comes deep to get the ball, he connects with the midfield and the attack together, and then it came across to Natapong, eventually inside to Sergio again, who keeps the possession. Jacopan, the man of the moment, puts it across to Supot, the possession still there, and it appears to be a mistake, and it looked like it would be a breakaway goal. Marcio is miles behind, but he uses that power and the pace that he has for a big man, huge pace, to get the ball out. And then came the goal. Diogo tries to distract Jacopan, but he's having none of it. He knows what he wants to do. Sergio is getting ready. He's pushing the defender out of the way, and he launches himself like a torpedo, and the ball goes into the top corner of the net. It looked like a header. It felt like a shot. What a wonderful goal. With two minutes left of the piece, the fans go crazy for such a popular player. He works so hard. It's his first goal of the season, and no one could have been more pleased than his friend Carmelo Gonzalez, or, of course, his dad, Sergio's dad in the stands. What a wonderful goal. The ball comes across doesn't need pace, it just needs precision. And Sergio winds himself off, flying Dutchman in the air, and Siwarok has zero chance of saving that. 2-2 it ended, the game had us on the front foot at the end, and you see Natapong was really disappointed that we didn't score. But Wednesday, 
Port FC away. Let's keep this run going, boys. It's a wonderful run we're on, and we're in a great situation to push on to the top of the Thai Premier League.